GTTV, and we're back. What's up with you? Now, as you can see, I'm watching the young up and coming star Tia Fima Lopez. And, um, yeah. I, um, I wanted to talk about Tia Fimo, and I wanted to talk about Lomachenko. I wanted to, uh, make work perfectly, perfectly clear of where I'm standing. I'm going to stand this ground, and I'm, I'm going to take Tiafima Lopez over Lomachenko. And you want to know why? I'm watching him. I'm watching how quick he learns. I'm watching all this stuff. And I know maybe technically he's not there. But what you don't have in technical abilities, you can make up with other aspects of your fighting, which I think the power aspect is going to be a smidge factor that's going to help. I don't think that he's overly outmatched by what's going on. I mean, he's probably going to have a little bit of time, but this is the thing. Y'all going to bring him Nakatani. I know y'all going to bring him off. That's a six-foot person fighting somebody that's like five, six or something. Like, it's not, you know, it's something he, that that's physical things he has to get over. He's going to be the bigger man when he's fighting Lomachenko. Not that that matters much because it's a fight and, you know, but once it goes into a slugfest of war, I do not think Lomachenko's going to want to take all that. I do not think he's going to want to take all that. All right, and I know there we go. Some Lomachenko fans going to be out there like, "You're crazy." He's going to definitely outmatch him. He's not going to da 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 da. Okay. All right. Now I'm not saying Lomachenko's record or resume is bad or anything like that. All right. We would never say stuff like that. But he's never faced himself anything like anything like a Tiafimo Lopez with all these different attributes with the with the age advantage. Of him, you know, 23 years old over a 32-year-old. I mean, it's not that. <laughs> I mean, I can't. That's like me saying I can't beat up a 23-year-old because I'm about that age. But definitely could. But the one that he's going to come in a little bit stronger than you, he also has very, very good skills. Very, very, very good skills. And very, very good athleticism. And the test for Lomachenko is if it is, which I do think is going to be a slugfest, are you ready for this? Are you ready to get hit like this? This guy is very powerful and doesn't care. And he likes to finish. So, and he likes fast knockouts in tremendous fashion. I'm not thinking that that's going to be a care really in this fight. You know, I'm not thinking that, you know, California, I forgot to tell you, you know, more. They can we in California. You see the palm trees over the, the pool. That's where we at right now. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I wanted to say to all these Lomo fans. I understand. They call them Lomosexuals. All right. Y'all, it might be your time. This is up. And I'm going to tell you another fact of why. Because you know who could set this fight, uh, fight up? Bob Arum. Isn't your man signed to Bob Arum? Oh, yeah. Lomachenko signed to Bob Arum. And who else signed to Bob Arum? Tiafimo Lopez, and you see what he did with Pacquiao. He tries to put really good fighters against each other, and you know, it might be the time to go because Bob Aaron really doesn't give a fuck. You are aging. Let's look at it that way, too. You are aging. Tiafimo could be the upcoming rising star to start him, and if he beats you, it might be in his favor to win. So take things like that into consideration. Also, Tiafimo, why would they want the younger person to lose? And you're saying, well, oh, that's not how boxing, boxing does go like this. We all know boxing goes like this. We all know this. Boxing is a corrupt game. So we all know that. This is nothing new. So just guys, be prepared and be ready. I'm sorry, I'm cooking something right there. Be prepared and ready to see what I'm telling you come to life. JTTV. Cali edition.